Hey y'all, so as you can see here, I have three maidenhair ferns. I picked these up at the nursery today. I got off work a little bit early and told myself I was gonna go to the nursery just to look at all the pretty spring things that were in bloom, like the fruit trees and things like that. However, I ended up with some plants. So I'm gonna upload a video a little bit sooner than I upload this one today and you can see the plant haul, the things that I got at the nursery. But I digress. Here are the three maidenhair ferns. I will share a couple tips and tricks that I've learned over the years on how to keep these things happy. I know they have a little bit of a reputation for being pretty finicky. However, inside that that is the case. I've never been able to really successfully grow maidenhair ferns inside. They just need too much humidity. Um, but outside they grew really well for me and they're one of my absolute favorite plants. I love the foliage. I love that they have this kind of draping quality to them and the brand new growth is a bright, vibrant green and they're leggy and airy and I just love them. So I'm going to get these three ferns potted up and I'll take you guys along and then after we get them potted up. I can share some of the tips and tricks with you guys on what I've learned over the years and what works for me. It may not work for you, but you could try it out and see how it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and get these three potted up really quick. Got some of these really thick, heavy ceramic pots today at the nursery. They were on sale. Um, if, if anybody's local and wondering, I got these at TLC and they had a big pot sale last weekend and I wasn't able to go, but they had these pots and some of them had saucers. Um, I wouldn't use these for inside plants, even though they have a saucer because they are permeable for water and they would ruin whatever you have them sitting on. But I'm gonna be using these at some outside pots and anything in this gray, slate, black color, I really like it and it's in my color palette. So I typically snag it when I can and you can never have too many pots and you know, getting pots on sale is a huge score. So anyways, I'm gonna get these potted up and get back with you in a second. So here I'm just using some basic potting soil. These really do well with peat moss. If you have anything that kind of retains moisture, they do pretty well with peat moss just to help retain moisture. I typically in the summer when these, when these guys are outside, I will typically water them in um, once a day course I'm growing them in the shade but as long as you have a drain hole um, in the bottom of your pot they're really not going to they're pretty hard to overwater is what I'm trying to say All right, so there's one. And I'm a pretty messy person when it comes to potting plants. That's something that drives my husband crazy. Um, but this room outside off the garage, it has concrete floors. So for now, this is where I am 
potting most things up and um, potting up seedlings and things like that. So it's just a space that we have some room in since the rest of everything is still a little bit chaos from the move. So it's an easy cleanup and not too big of a deal. And this one I'm going to leave out more on this. Eh, actually, I'm going to go ahead and just center it. it it'll it get pretty big. I was going to leave some room for, you know, a begonia or something like that. But this will get really big by the end of summer and you won't be able to see anything that's under it anyway. So... all three of these planted and I will get them watered in but kind of the last tip and trick other than keeping them in a pretty humid place if you're gonna grow them inside and you're gonna need you're ne gonna need a humidifier I think to grow them inside even the water below in the tray I've never been able to make that really necessarily work for me could be different for you and your area but once I get them watered in, I'm going to take this mister. And if you don't have a mister, you should get one. If you're a seed starter or it just in general, um, they're great to have. But maidenhair ferns, especially like these, I will be keeping these inside for a couple more weeks because I won't be able to put them outside. So I'll be keeping these inside for a couple more weeks and spraying and misting them with a mister like this will help out the humidity and help them keep growing most efficiently. So those are, you know, really my only tips and tricks. Use a potting soil that's going to retain quite a bit of moisture. Peat moss would be great. Grow them, in, just grow them in a humid, humid climate. And if you're growing them inside, just grow them inside for the least amount of time possible until your weather permits for you guys to stick them outside in like a cooler, shady area of your front or backyard. And final is just get a mister. If you're gonna grow them inside, misting definitely helps. And that's all I have for today. Thanks guys, like and subscribe, please.